Cześć, cześć, today I will tell you everything that you need to know about money if you travel to Poland. We'll start with some basics, but fasten your seatbelts, the difficulty level will rise quickly. The only currency widely accepted in Poland is Polish złoty. One złoty equals 100 groszy. In circulation you can find coins. One, two, five, ten, twenty and fifty groszy. One, two and five złoty. And banknotes. Ten, twenty, fifty, one hundred, two hundred and five hundred notes. On each banknote you can find one of Poland's kings. The kings are placed on the notes in chronological order, with the reigning earliest being on the 20 złoty bill and the latest on the 500 bill. But wait a minute, what about 10 złoty? So this man is Mieszko I. Technically he wasn't king, but he's extremely important person for the history of Poland. Want to know more about Polish kings? Subscribe! ATMs. In Poland you can find a lot of ATMs and Polish name is Bankoma. The most popular are Euronet and Planet Cash. So whenever you need money you can easily withdraw it. Currency exchange. Money can be exchanged at the exchange office, which is called Kantor. It can be found in both small towns and big cities. You can always check how many złoty you should get. If you want to make sure you change money at a good rate, open Google, type amount of money, name of your currency, to Polish currency or złoty or PLN. Of course, there is always a fee for exchanging money in exchange office, but it shouldn't be 5, 10 or Oh my god, more person. Use Google Maps to find the best counter. Compare exchange rates in several places, avoid exchanging money in the most touristic places. And always confirm how much money you will receive before you hand over the money. Hmm, but do you actually need cash? In majority of cases, no. You can pay by card almost everywhere. Shops, restaurants, trains. Cards and contactless payments are extremely common here. According to National Bank of Poland, the number of payment cards in Poland is more than 43 million. Poland's population is just under 38 million. What's more, you can also pay with smartphone or smartwatch in many places. However, if you only have 100 or 200 banknotes and you need to pay just a few złoty, it could be a problem. It's so common to pay almost everywhere by card that stores sometimes don't have petty cash for exchange. And don't be confused when you hear Mogę być winna grosika? Most often prices in store are not rounded and have two decimal places like 4.99 or 5.88 and cashiers often ask if they can round up the total bill by one or two grosze. There are a few places where you need cash, but I will cover that later in this video. Okay, so how to use your card like a pro? Visa and Mastercard are widely accepted. If you have another card, it may be difficult to find a place where you can use it. When you make a purchase in store or withdraw cash from an ATM and you use foreign card, you can be asked if you want to pay in złoty or in your currency. Well, first of all, make sure that your cards operate in złoty and your bank provides you a good exchange rate. Then pay only in złoty. If you choose another currency, I'm sure extra commission from the payment provider will be added and you will pay much more than you should. And please remember, Poland is a member of the European Union but not of the Euro currency system. So Euros are also not commonly accepted here. Okay, but in which places you will pay only with cash? On local marketplaces, if you want to buy some fresh food directly from a farmer or a small producer, they will probably accept only cash. You can use your card in public transportation or bus, but if you want to travel with smaller carrier, cash may be necessary. In stores or bars or restaurants where you can see the information płatność tylko gotówką, but it's rather exception. Tips in cash are more than welcome. In restaurants 10% tip is not mandatory but highly recommend. Subscribe for more.